Uh, I forgot the intro. So today there is no intro. Hello everybody on Tech Syndicate. Hello everybody on Reddit. Hello everybody on YouTube. Hello everybody on the internet in general. Now in this video we're going to build uh, an extreme budget rig. That means a really fast uh, budget rig that you can f that you can probably sell uh, a bunch of stuff around the house. You know, like sell the sofa when your mom's at work, or uh, I don't know, sell your dad's computer, sell your dad's laptop, sell your brother's iPad. And then you can buy one of these. You can buy two of these if you sell your brother's iPad. If you're a console gamer and you, you're ready to move to the PC, welcome to the wonderful world of PC. It'll be we'll be uh, glad to help you and everybody on Tech Syndicate. We'll be very very happy to assist you in getting some new games on Steam and everything. You know what? Let's just get started with the system. Uh, to start off with the CPU, we're going to go with a really fast dual core from Intel, the Pentium G620. It's a Sandy Bridge uh, Pentium running at 2.6 gigahertz. And I really like this one for gaming because most games are not optimized for, you know, more than two cores. Uh, and even the ones that are, they don't really get too, I guess, they don't get too much of a bump from having extra cores. So I like that one for, for gaming. If I was going to be doing rendering, I'd look for a quad core, but at $63.99, you cannot go wrong with the G620. Uh, I'm going to put that in the Gigabyte GAH61MA-D3V micro ATX uh, motherboard. That's socket LGA 1155, of course, because that's what the CPU is. I like this one a lot because of all the features, and um, it's also a really stable uh, motherboard. USB 3 on board. We have um, PCI Express, of course, and we also have an extra PCI Express 1X slot. And we have uh, two 6 gigabit per second SATA ports. So nice and loaded for $54.99. That's about as good as you can do. Uh, the memory, I'm going to go with Patriot Gamer 2 series, um, 8 gigabytes. The thing I like about the uh, Patriot is that the cast latency is um, is 9, which is really good for the price of $36.99. And it's also 1600 megahertz. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice memory for $36.99. For the hard drive, we're going to go mechanical this time. Everyone keeps from screaming that they want more storage because they're going to be playing a lot of games. And if you are going to be gaming, um, having a lot of storage is important. Uh, you're not going to get the extreme fast load times, but in the games, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So let's go with the Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM drive, and it's only $59.98. For the case, we're going to go with the Fractal Design Core 1000. Uh, it's all you need. No frills, very simple, clean lines, good airflow. Um, there's no USB 3 on this, but there's no USB 3 header on the motherboard, so no problem there. For the power supply, we're going to grab a Logesis 575-watt uh, power supply. It's got all the connectors that we need. It's also overkill for this machine, like really, really overkill. Overkill is a good thing in this case because it's not an 80-plus uh, efficiency power supply. Having the overkill is going to give you a little bit of overhead in case there's you know, spikes or, or peaks or you maybe have some interference from your AC or something like that, uh, having the extra power is going to come in handy in situations like that. Uh, for the graphics card, you know, you can grab a, a Radeon HD 6750 for around 80 bucks on the internet. So grab a Radeon HD 6750 and thank me later because that card is really fast for the money. If you have extra money burning a hole in your pocket, I don't know, get like a 6870. Those are like 120 bucks, but we'll talk about that in a minute. The optical drive, I grabbed a light on iHass 12004, I don't know, $17.98. I don't care what optical drive you get. I don't care if you get an optical drive at all. I just threw one on there so you guys could install whatever you're going to install Linux, Mint, or Ubuntu, or Windows. Windows. Wind blows. Remember, remember micro, micro shaft wind blows? Theoretically, you'll be able to get it for 40 bucks here in a few days. Well, Windows uh, 8? A couple months, yeah. Hmm. Theoretically. Theoretically? Well, that's it. And like I said, for the extra power, if you guys want to spend a little bit more on the GPU, uh, grab one of the 6870s. Those things are dropping like crazy. I've seen them online for around $120, $121. Uh, I found one, the uh, Sapphire Radeon HD 6870. I like the Sapphire quality. Um, for $120, bucks, that's nice. Everything all together, $375. If you decide to go with the 6870, it's around $420. Bucks. So you really can't beat that. Can you? I don't know. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. I'll come to your house and beat you up if you can beat that. Was that the retail box version of the processor? Uh, I think so. Okay. Because otherwise you don't get a cooler. Yeah, I think it's the retail box version of the cooler with the cooler. But I might be wrong. I'll, I'll link to the retail box version of the cooler. Okay, so uh, subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think of the video. There's a uh, 
uh, how to build a PC video coming up very soon. I've been editing that, I guess, a lot. And instead of me just sitting here talking about like, hey, these are the cool configs, I'm going to show you guys how to put those cool configs together and make them work. So that'll be coming very soon, like this week. Yeah, honestly, half the battle with building a PC anymore is getting parts that will work well together, right. more so than actually physical assembly. Yeah, it's, it, people are intimidated by it. It's really, it, it's, it's easy to put together as a Lego. All right, so I'll see you guys next time.